currently the recommendations are, you know, unless you have an allergy to one of the uh, ingredients in the vaccine, such as polyethylene glycol um, for the mRNA vaccines or polysorbate 80 for Johnson and Johnson, uh, then you can actually go forward and take the vaccine. Even if you have a history of anaphylaxis for food allergy or anaphylaxis uh, for another drug, because there are there's no food uh, proteins in this vaccine. Uh, there's no um, you know other proteins from other medications such you know penicillin. I would recommend always going and having this conversation with your allergist uh, to clarify that one, it is safe for you to get the vaccine and uh, your own personal risk profile. The other thing we recommend is um, to please wait uh, in a medical facility. If you're someone prone to allergic reactions or anaphylaxis to wait for 30 minutes and to get your vaccine in a place where um, they are equipped to treat allergic reaction. People who are COVID positive um, should still get the vaccine because we have numerous studies showing that vaccination uh, immunity lasts longer and is more durable than immunity from just, you know, the natural infection. The natural infection immunity also is very variable. So I may have very robust immunity from my COVID infection, but another person may not, you know, and this helps ensure that you don't get sick again.